Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to some more esports talk. My name is Hunter, and I hope you are having a great day today. Today, we're going to be covering and talking about the situation with Smash player Nairo and the allegations that he was facing and his now return to the streaming scene. Now, I'm not going to cover the allegations in too much depth because there is a lot of information out there. A lot of sites covered it. And so if you want to, you can go check out one of those for a more in-depth look at everything. But essentially what we have was another Smash player named Captain Zack who accused Nairo of being sexually involved with him when he was a minor. Zack was 15 at the time and Nairo was 20. He claimed Nairo paid him hush money and less than 10 hours after the info came out, he released an apology to Twitter. Nairo was dropped by NRG and got banned for Smash events and on Twitch. After this initial outrage, it ended up getting a little bit more complicated and a little bit more sticky than it seemed. Multiple sources came forward to address the fact that Zack had admitted to making things up on occasion, that Zack actually asked for the money and had shown signs of being obsessed with how much Nairo made, and that he used his status as a minor to escape blame. So then Nairo recants his apology and even comes forward stating that he has 30 pages of proof for the court and makes his own statement saying that it was actually more like Zach and blackmailed him in this situation. He says in a statement that it's already hard enough unpacking everything I've repressed and learning the extent of PTSD I'd suffered since April 2017, but I have struggled immensely the past three months with this revelation. The cruelty of how I was abandoned by nearly everyone I knew, that my rapist had manipulated the narrative to destroy my life, that the community I grew up with for over a decade had banned me without a second thought and cast me out as a pedophile and a predator when I am none of those things. It all feels so unjust. And then this year in February, Nairo came forward for the first time on video to say that they had reached a legal agreement and he was now able to move forward with his life. And I want to announce now that we've reached a legal agreement. So I just want you to know that as of now, everything is fully resolved and I am now able to move forward with my life. I never saw myself competing again. I never saw myself working with teams and sponsors again. And as much as it sucks because I really, really love doing it, I never saw myself streaming and making content again. I realized that if I can help just make one more person have a better day, I think it would be worth it to try again. So with that being said, I would like to try to stream again. I would like to try to go back to playing games and having fun with the community that we built and to try to move forward. But I also know the reality of the situation and that people will probably be hesitant. I don't know what's going to happen or how people are even going to react to this, honestly, but I want to try to move forward. Then even more recently, he goes on to another YouTube video to say that he has been appealing bans from the different Smash communities, but he still has his ban in place from Twitch. And so to start streaming, he is most likely going to be streaming on YouTube. I had appealed my bans with places that banned me. Both 2GG and Collision have already announced that they have lifted their bans after processing my appeal. I also got removed from the Smash Global ban list, but I'm still banned on Twitch. I'm going to continue to try to get my channel back, but in the meantime, I'm going to start streaming here on YouTube starting next week on Thursday, April 8th. I do want to mention that things will be different on YouTube if you've ever watched my past Twitch streams before. Twitch has rules in place that don't allow a banned streamer to be showcased on another Twitch stream, otherwise that Twitch stream could potentially get banned as well. So for example, if a new character comes out, and I'm streaming on YouTube, and a friend of mine is streaming on Twitch. If we want to play against each other like how we used to for other character releases, we won't be able to do that anymore because that person is streaming on Twitch. Though I heard that if that Twitch streamer goes offline, then I may be able to play them. Also, as far as I know, if I'm showcasing a tournament that's being streamed on Twitch, that may cause a potential problem for that tourney stream, especially since I have a high chance of appearing on stream. So it doesn't really matter too much how many tourney appeals I clear and get unbanned from because I still can't really participate. And I also wouldn't want to cause any problems to somebody else, somebody else. And it's just something I'm going to have to deal with and that's why I'm going to continue to try and get my channel back. Personally, I'm just curious to see how, you know, Twitch and NRG end up handling this situation because 
you can't really blame them for at first cutting ties or banning him. I mean, NRG came out and cut ties and let him go, and then Twitch banned him from the platform, obviously. But at this point, how do they handle the situation? Because it's coming out that, hey, this wasn't as straightforward of a situation as was originally put out there and the reason why you know he was cut ties with or banned and so i'm not sure where it's gonna go does twitch unban him now does nrg make a statement saying that they were you know maybe wrong to cut ties i don't know the whole thing is just kind of tricky in general i would say for them but he will be returning to stream he said on april 8th i think thursday and we'll see what happens after that we'll see where it goes and how the stream goes overall it seems like there is a positive community feedback about this entire thing and that people are excited to see him return to the Smash community. Until next time, guys, let me know what you think. Be safe, be smart, behave, and I'll catch you later.